हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस इन टुडे लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द बेसिक्स ऑफ द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस केस द फर्स्ट वन इज द ग्रेड्स ऑफ द कंक्रीट व्हाट आई मीन बाय द ग्रेड ऑफ कंक्रीट्स इज वी हैव डिफरेंट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द कंक्रीट एंड देयर आर डिफरेंट मिक्स रेशियो फॉर दिस कंक्रीट सो हियर वी सी द डिफरेंट ग्रेड्स ऑफ द कंक्रीट इन दिस ग्रेड्स ऑफ द कंक्रीट डिपेंड्स that where we are going to use this concrete and accordingly this concrete have different mix ratios what i mean by mix ratio that they have different quantity of the cement they have different quantity of the sand and they have different quantity of the coarse aggregate coarse aggregate so if we look to the grades of the concrete we have here following different grades of the concrete starting from the m7.5 which has the ratio of 148 now what these values represent so the first value it's c s and a this thing is used to represent the mix ratio now one is the cement content the c represent the cement content cement is represent the sand and a represent the coarse aggregate so m7.5 means that it has the mix ratio of 1 4 and 8 1 is the cement content 4 is the ratio of the sand and 8 is the ratio of the coarse aggregate and m means mix m stand for mix and 7.5 shows the strength of the concrete in the unit of megapascal so it means the strength of the concrete is 7.5 megapascal for the second grade of the concrete we have m10 m means mix again 10 means the 10 megapascal strength concrete and it will have the ratio of 1 3 6 shows again the cement 3 shows the sand and 6 shows the quantity of the aggregate so this is the mix ratio by which we find out our concrete mix so by going more here down so we have m15 which is 15 megapascal strength and here is the ratio of the 1 to 4 m20 grade strength which is the ratio of 1 1.5 into 3 and m25 which has the strength of 25 megapascal and has the ratio of 1 ratio 1 ratio 2 also we have different other concrete strength for example m50 and so on but we are not uh, going to explain this is the different mix ratio in our most civil engineering structures we use the in the residential building we mostly use the m20 m25 and also it depends on the structure if there is just finishing of the concrete surfaces so we mostly use the low strength concrete is they are the m7 and m10 they are the low strength concrete while they are the medium strength concrete m20 m25 they are the low strength and m50 and m60 they have the high strength concrete so there are different grades of the concrete depending on their mix ratios so this was the first part of the basics of civil engineering in the second part i'm going to explain some of the main unit weights of the civil engineering materials so we have different materials here on the left side and here we have their unit weights in the unit of kilogram per cubic meter now what i mean by unit weight so if i consider here a volume for example this is a cube this is in a cube and this is a height of 1 meter and this is a base of 1 meter and also it has the this length of 1 meter so the volume of this is 1 cubic meter 1 cubic meter is the volume of this cube so unit weight means that how much kilogram of material is coming inside this cube now for cement it is 1440 kilogram per cubic meter it means 1440 kilogram of the cement can come into this 1 cubic meter cube 
Similarly for PCC it means plain cement concrete. Plain cement concrete. So it has the value of 2400. So it means that the 2400 kilogram material can come of plain cement concrete into this volume of the 1 cubic meter. Similarly RCC means reinforced cement concrete where we use the steel bar here reinforced cement concrete. Here in this case we have 2500, 2500 kilogram of the weight in 1 cubic meter of the volume. For bitumen we have 1340, for cement paste we have 2000, for glass we have 2500 and for water we have 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. So these are the general units weight of the civil engineering material which we are mostly used in our daily life. The cement, the PCC, RCC, the bitumen and road surfaces and also the water which we use mostly in the calculation of the soil engineering parameters. The next one is the standard conversion factors. Here are some of the general and important factors uh, that I mentioned here. For example, the 1 meter has the has 3.28 feet. It means if I want to find out here a 5 feet, 1 meter has 3.28 feet. So how much will be the 3 feet or 5 feet, 5 meter? So 5 meter will have 5 multiplied by 3.28 feet. So this will be the 5 meter. Similarly, 1 meter has 39.27 inches. So it means if I want to calculate 3 meter, so 3 meter will be equal to the 3 multiplied by the 39.27 inches. You can just multiply by the value you want here. For example, I want here that 1 meter is 100 centimeter, but what is 2 meter? So 2 into 1 meter and here is also 2. So 2 meter means that it is equal to the 200 centimeter. Here 1 meter is equal to the 100, it is 1000 millimeter, sorry. 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeter. So if we calculate the 6 meter, so 6 multiplying 1 meter, here also will multiply 6 into 1000, it means 6000 millimeter. So you can multiply by the value you want here, on both sides you will get your respective value. For 1 inch, we have 12.54 centimeter or we can say 25.4 millimeter. Also one edge has 8 suit and also one foot has 12 inches. So these are the general conversion factor we mostly use in our daily life. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.